Welcome to your experience and today I want to talk to you about ethics and morality. Today's video will be rather a short video because there's not so much to discuss. There are more or less clear definitions and more or less clear differences between these two words, but they shall be discussed, in my personal opinion. And also the second reason why this video shall not be short, because I don't feel myself well, because yesterday I had migraines, again, and uh, it hurt a lot, yay. So basically, yes, the target of today's video is to discuss differences between ethics and morality, because these words are used interchangeably a lot, but they are not really synonyms, they are not even on the same scale, they are not even on the same, like, in the same place of science or words or linguistic, I don't know, they are different. Let us discuss it. Before we start, this is your experience. I'm Yuri. Here I'm talking about different topics, about my different experiences, about different cultures, about my thoughts and ideas and whatnot. I do two videos per week on Monday and on Thursday. I hope you will enjoy it. If you will enjoy this video, please drop a like, subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yes, these two words, ethics and morality, are used interchangeably on a lot of occasions. People say ethical norms and moral norms, and this is not really the right thing to do. The reason for that is these words are really different. They are really connected, but really different. And the best way to start, in my personal opinion, would be provide definitions. Morality is something like individual or group behavioral norms. What is normal to do? How it is normal to behave? What shall people do in order to live in accordance to this righteous way or right way or good way and not be bad? So basically, if you have ever heard something in the lines, according to the lines, do something in order to live to live a good life or do something in order to be a good person and it doesn't matter whether it comes from a person or from a group or from a cultural thing or from religion it doesn't matter where it comes from but it is morality it is these are moral norms that behave your behavior yeah i think it makes sense and basically the questions of morality is what is right to do what shall you do if people say you shall do something, that is morality. And the applications of that are kind of to differentiate between good and bad, to right and to wrong. But on the ground level, on the usability level, how it is really in our life. Ethics is very, very connected. And the reason for that is because ethics is science of morality. Ethics is a science that looks at morality and thinks, okay, why it is like that? Why do we do it like that? Why it is a right thing and why that is a bad thing? Why that is a good thing and why that is something completely wrong? How to understand whether something or doing something is a right or a wrong thing to do? Where shall our rules come from? Because some people do like to take rules from different cultures, from different societal groups. Other people prefer to, do, to solve this problem or to have their own morality based on their individual level. And this whole like, science behind why does, is it like that, why do we work with each other like that, how shall, shall or can it develop in the future, that is ethics. So basically ethics is a science of morality. That is why on a lot of occasions people misuse the word ethics actually. They are moral norms, but ethics is science that, that researchers on the advanced level uh, or, or application level these moral norms. Which is kind of cool. I think it is cool. It is a cool differentiation between these two things. And it is cool for me that People actually research it and that is not something that I actually thought about. Yes, it does make sense, it makes perfect sense that moral norms is something that uh, some kind of science researchers. But the fact that this kind of science was under my nose, right behind my eyes all the time, because ethics is a popular word, that is cool. 
in my opinion. An example here would be polite behavior, in my personal opinion. The fact that we shall behave politely to, for example, our elders or to some children or whatnot, that is a moral norm. Why do we need to do it? Towards in which situations? Maybe where shall we start and from which point the person is an elder and where not? That is, in my understanding, more ethics problem. But the whole behavior, how we do it, is a question of morality. We are polite, we shall be polite in order to be a good person. Why? Because religion, maybe, maybe because uh, society decided to do it like that, it's, maybe it is something historical, maybe, I know, some people have some family things, like if you are polite to your grandfather, he will give you $10. I don't know. The reasons may be really, really different. And what the reasons are, in my understanding, that is ethics. Why the reasons are like that? How much of influence do these reasons have? But the act of being polite and this idea of the fact that you need to be polite in order to be a good person, that is immorality. Yeah. Interesting fact, except for morality or being behaving morally, there is also behaving immorally and amorally. And these are two different things. I didn't know it prior to today. Immoral behavior, based on my understanding, and if I'm wrong, I will correct myself somewhere here. Immoral behavior is a behavior against some moral norms that are in the society. And amoral behavior is ignoring of these norms. So that is, there is a difference between consciously going against something and just ignoring it. Just ignoring its existence for the perks of whatnot. Why I think that this differentiation is kind of important and why I think that ethics are really important for our life is basically what I preach on this channel. I didn't know that prior to today, but a lot of topics that I cover here are ethical topics. Why is this important for society? Why shall you think or shall you not think like that? Building of moral compass and how to think uh, how to understand what is right and what is wrong, that is all questions of ethics. And that is all what I covered in different videos about different topics and also I covered, for example, independently moral compass and why it is so important. Why it is important to make decisions yourself. Because there are some moral norms of the society, there are some moral norms of some specific social groups, there are some moral norms that you have personally. And what of these norms you use for applying to, for everyday usage, for everyday decision making, depends on you personally. And how to decide what moral norms are good or better for you and what are worse for you, that is ethics. And that is basically what I'm talking about on this channel also. I like this differentiation. I really like the fact that I decided to think about this like more consciously because I didn't know the difference prior to today. And today I learned about it and I'm like, yes, that actually makes perfect sense. And I really like, I like it. I don't know, I, I, like, I like it when specifics are there. It makes me happy. I, I don't know, maybe it is a my, me thing. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did it, please drop a like, please subscribe. I do a lot of videos. Yes, that's kind of it. Have a nice week.